is going on guys, Looney here, welcome back to yet another MongoDB tutorial. Now in this tutorial we are going to be registering our Mongo and then, uh, you know, obviously pretty much closing the connection uh, when the plugin is used and when it's not used. So in our core class we need to go ahead and add the following line. Private static Mongo client, uh, MongoDB sorry, and then let's call this MongoDB. And then we can go ahead and import this from... Uh, you know, with the code UK, blah blah blah, uh, and then got MongoDB. Now, in our, on enable, where we actually need to go ahead and register this, we need to do MongoDB MDB is equal to new MongoDB. And then, if you go ahead and look, there's these things. Now, you want to go ahead and use the top one, and then we want to go ahead and put in the username. Now, the username we're going to be using is from MongoDBD.username, so we can put MongoDBD.username. And then, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And then paste this along, and obviously it goes password dot database uh, dot host, and then dot port. And then we can do mdb dot set database, and now this will be the database that we're uh, that we're going to be using by default. Now you might be wondering, so why is the database here, even if we're setting the database here? See, well, this is the database where the username and password is stored in. Um, so. For example, Zyplicraft is a database that I used to use, and that username and password were stored on that database. And then obviously that's the database that I wanted to use um, as a default database. Where this database can be different to this one, uh, it just depends on what you're using. And then we need to go ahead and set MongoDB to equal MDB. And then that's that. So that's MongoDB registered for on enable. And now we need to go ahead and create a getter. So public static MongoDB get Mongo. And then this will go ahead and uh, basically return, uh, yeah, you pretty much guessed it, return Mongo uh, DB. That's that. Now on enable, uh, sorry, on disable, we need to do, we need to get Mongo, so use get Mongo that we just created, dot close the connect, uh, then close the connection. So that's closing the connection. Uh, so this is literally a simple tutorial, uh, just some things that we needed to add. Um, so that is pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's really simple. Um, but if you have any questions, just go ahead and comment them down below. But anyway, guys, hope you see you next time. See you guys.